Um, obviously, some things haven't went the way we, you know, we hoped for, but just keep taking the coaching, keep pushing ourselves, and keep building off that. I mean, it's close, so. Carolina Panthers are hoping to end their season-long struggles this weekend and get their first win, but it is not going to be easy. After the Chicago Bears win last night, Carolina now the only team left in the NFL without a win. Charlotte Sports Live's Gabe McDonald is at Bank of America Stadium with how the team is trying to change that against the Lions in Detroit on Sunday. Well, guys, after last night, the Carolina Panthers now remain as the only team in the NFL without a win so far this season. That's something they look to change this weekend as they head back on the road for a big Week 5 test against Detroit. Now, this will mark the third meeting between these two teams in less than one calendar year. Of course, we all remember Carolina's Christmas gift to its fans last season when the black and blue ran wild over the Lions to the tune of a franchise record 320 rushing yards. Of course, there has been a lot of change on both sides since then. After the Lions came to the bank and won this season's preseason finale, both teams have had completely different journeys to get to this weekend. The guys from the Motor City are looking like a whale oil machine at 3-1 so far, while the Panthers are looking for a lot of answers at 0-4. One big area of concern is in the running game as Carolina ranks 21st in the league with just over 95 yards per game. Panthers head coach Frank Reich feels his stable of backs responded well to being challenged this week and knows how imperative it is to be effective on the ground. At the end of the day, if you want to be a championship football team, most of the time you have to be good running the football. You don't have to be the best in the league at running the ball, but you got to be effective running the ball. Again, so many good things come off that. It helps pass protection, helps your play action game. So. Um, you know, and then the different ways, you know, because Bryce is our quarterback, you know, he has a gift where, you know, we can get more and more into some of the RPO stuff and he can do all the advantage throws and he can wheel and deal, create some space for him to, to be creative. Those are all things that we'll continue to build. And that's exactly what you need to be able to do in order to keep defenses guessing. The only thing is, Carolina is going up against one of the top defensive units in the entire NFL this Sunday. Detroit enters this weekend ranking fourth in the NFL in total yards allowed and first against the run, only giving up 60 yards on the ground each week. Quite the challenge for a Panthers offense that has only combined for 127 yards over the last two games. Now, despite being a limited participant on Wednesday and Thursday, running back Miles Sanders was a full participant this morning, so he is good to go for Sunday's game in the Motor City. Guys, back to you. All right, Gabe, well, Black and Blue kickoff live, getting you ready for that game in Detroit. Our team is in Michigan as the Panthers take on Jared Goff and the Lions. We'll have exclusive interviews with DJ Chark and Sam Franklin Jr. at BBKL at 10 a.m., then kickoff between the Lions and Panthers at one right here on Fox Charlotte.